I'm just wrapping up for the day. I'm going to play a game of 10 minute rapid. Uh, 1954. Good luck. We've not played before. There's no head to head score. 4,300 games. That's a lot of games are rapid. I'll play C4. Stick to the traditional ready. Your CE3 has become much more fashionable now. So B4. Standard book move. Just develop. Um, okay. Attack the pawn. Okay. I think knight takes is correct here if I remember. And bishop takes knight back. Or e3. I think knight takes is correct. I can obviously push a pawn and try and defend, but at least so. Uh, very attacking lines. I think I've got e3 or g3 on knight back. I don't want to do this. Hmm, I think I'm going to go with e3. Let's bring the bishop this way this time instead of going on the diagonal that you generally do with the reti. I can still drop the knight back to c2. He's gone there. So I could even come back to f3 now. I could go here and hit the bishop and pawn. I think I'm just going to go calmly back to f3. Stop this move. Maybe I can develop here. Change the diagonal. Now I want the bishop where the knight is. I might have to move it again at some point. Um, I think I'll just develop the knight. Maybe we'll challenge that bishop. We could fling the pawns down the board, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Knight up seems like a sensible move to me, just to challenge this bishop, but it would bring a pawn from into the middle. D4 seems sensible as well. Try and gain space. So I think I might do that. Might not get another chance to, you know, if he finds a way to get his pawn down the board at the right moment. So we'll just play it. Oh, he's going to going all in. Okay. Now, do I counter that here with a view to opening this up? Hmm. Knight here is obviously a move and he might drop back. Then what about pawn up? I'm looking at the immediate pawn up. I quite like the look of it actually. While my knight guards it as well. Let's go forward, challenge this. If he kicks my knight, I can always drop back or I could even potentially take. He's come forward. So now, it feels like I should be going here. And then what does he do? He's probably going to have to let me take and bring his pawn up. This knight will come this way. Let's just see how he plays it. It is rapid, this. I've just been playing some bullet before this game. Oh, he's gone there, so he's letting me take the bishop. Pawn across is the idea. If I take there, he simply takes back. That's no good. Knight here might be an idea. Yeah, knight h4 doesn't look too crazy. You've just got to consider this move. But then check a knight in over. Is my knight then getting trapped here, though? That's a question. I see knight back is the obvious move. He's going to push forward. I'm tempted to do it, but it's whether I take his bishop. I'll just play knight here. If he plays knight there, obviously the queen attacks my knight. So I'm losing a pawn, but I can come in and pile in here, but I don't see it working too well. Hmm. No, I'm going to take the bishop. Probably just come back here, I would think, but then these are going to come down the board. Okay, now he can do this, knight in over, or I could just hang the knight there and take, queen takes, bishop takes. Actually doesn't look unreasonable, that knight here, but say I get on f5, what then do I do? It's so tempting, it kind of stops a pawn, it puts a knight in a great space. If he doesn't take, I've got this. And even if he does take, I can simply take, queen takes, bishop takes, pawn. Gets a bit spicy, doesn't it? But where does this king go? I'm going to do it. It's only a game, isn't it? If you lose one, you lose one. If knight takes, I think I'll probably just take here. Otherwise, knight in over immediately is my move to pressure the pawn, threaten a check. But obviously, I'd need to play e4. Or bishop takes to support the knight. Excuse me. I'll get my cursor off the board. I'll 
play the arrows. I could play g3 potentially there, but... So I expect knight takes d5, but... Oh, he has done it, okay. So do I simply take now, let him take and try and grab this pawn? Then I'm threatening to take here and he can't castle. I could threaten to simply play e4. Or I can play knight in, or even knight to g3 potentially. And then bring his pawn right across. What's wrong with that? Knight e create an immediate threat. I guess he can just move his knight somewhere, or even the queen up. Yeah, I'm going to take. This could get very, very spicy. If I take here, 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 I hit the rook. So here, say rook across, I can always take the knight. Or I can plant the bishop for a move, I can come back to f3. I'm going to risk it, I'm going to take and then come back to f3, I think. See, if I could just support the knight, then I've got queen up as well, but I guess he can drop back. Oh, he's played the knight there, that's not a move I expected. So, an idea was to come to f3 and then maybe g3. Go here, try and at least guard the pawn. If I can't, I can't. If I've miscalculated or messed up, then so be it. But I want to play g3 because the rooks are going to get on the file. Then maybe drop the bishop back. Hmm. Now what do I do with this bishop here? Is he going to castle? Okay, he's played the rook there, so surely I go here with a tempo on the queen. Then come back, this pawn's going to run. I could play a bishop here straight away and attack the pawn, actually. If he then castles, rook across. A rook across initially, and he can't. Check is covered. So I could throw a pawn at the board while there's no immediate one move threat. Let's do that. And if I can get the pawn one further up, I can then queen check and force the queen off, at least in the current position. Hopefully I'm not just blundering some sort of sharp tactic. But that's chess. If you do, you do. Like rook takes, bishop takes, knight in, pawn up. That's kind of what he's aiming for, is it? But surely right now that doesn't work. Take, take. So is he looking at this? Take here, here. Yeah, I'm going to have to go g3, I think. He might be looking at a move like knight or bishop takes. The knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes. I'm still guarding though, aren't I? But I'm going to play g3 anyway. I'm miles down on the clock now. Okay, he has pushed. I don't think I can let him push further forward again, so... I'm going to hit the queen just for a tempo. And now I think I'm going to push on. I'm going to try and open this up and... Get some peace off the board. A queen check is a threat now. His king can probably run this way though. But yeah, I've maybe gone a little bit too slow this game. Let's just see. Yeah, bishop here as well to pressure the pawn, but can I sack? Take, take, push. If his king steps forward, bishop takes might be a move. Here, check and hit the bishop. Oh, he has taken. So queen check. And he's got to go there, surely. I'm going to check with the queen rather than just leave the rooks back for now. And just see where he goes, because if he goes forward, I think I can grab a pawn, and he has. So take, take, check, and I grab the bishop. Oh, what if he just takes here, though? Hmm. Takes, knight takes, takes, bishop takes. At least the files are getting open, aren't they? I can take here as well. Actually, can I just take there now, threatening this as well? So take, knight takes. Getting quite sharp. I've got rook across. I'm mm, getting low on time. Take. B 
Bishop takes, bishop takes, knight takes. Just drop the bishop back, looks fine. I'm going to do it. It opens his king's defences a little bit. If he takes a check, I don't think he will. I think he'll take the pawn with one of them. But at least his king's defences are a bit weaker and I can plant the bishop here. That's my idea anyway. We take, so let's check. We take the bishop. Obviously, king's safety is very important here, though. If he gets the queen here, there are all sorts of threats. Not in this immediate move, but coming. Wait, he's just blundered a rook. What's the threat? Two. He needs three moves, so one, surely I just take the rook and then take here if the knight moves. King up. So try and keep my bishop. Now I need to target this pawn, but I could go here, threatening a queen, but I think I need to come here. Ah, do I need queen back so he can't play queen down? No, I need to keep the pressure on. I'm going here. Idea rook up to take the pawn. Well, he's moved knight there, but now I can just pin the queen, right? He has to go there. So I've got check. And then take. It looks cleanly winning to me. If he blocks, I just collect the pawn. Okay, that's just a, should be a routine win now. It is, that's a very, very good win, excellent.